Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss Nikita Dragon being called out for allegedly shading Tati Westbrook over the James Charles situation. If you have not already seen my previous video about Jake Paul coming for Tana Mojo's ex-boyfriend Brad Sosa, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, Welcome back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. And opinions are not facts. <laughs> please do not send any hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these are meant for. They are just meant for us to throw a little shade, spill a little tea, and have a messy time here on the internet. Y'all, it appears we are never going to rid ourselves of this Tati Westbrook James Charles drama that started because James accepted an ad from Sugar Bear Hair. I mean, just the other day we went through this with Gabriel Zamora more when he did a Snapchat story addressing life and how people shouldn't take things too seriously, and towards the end of it, he took a moment to throw a little bit of shade in Tati's direction. Here is what he had to say. I've been in this mentality space lately. It's like, none of it is real in the grand scheme of it all. Like, is it real, Gabriel? Is it even real? You know? Kind of like, do you ever find yourself like getting stressed over like some Thing or a conversation or someone, maybe someone cuts you off and you're just like stressed for like two hours, like nah mother, brrr, or like someone was rude to you or something like that. And then you think about it and you're like, am I going to remember this in five years? No. Am I going to remember this in a year? Probably not. Am I going to remember this in six months? No. Am I going to remember this in a month? No, probably not, because I don't remember a lot that happened last week. Like, little things, right? Am I going to remember this in, like, three days? No. Then, girl, don't stress about it. Just move on. It doesn't even matter. I think it's healthy to be able to check in with yourself and be like, Hey, girl, how am I? Like, are you good? Like, are you happy? Are you stressed? Like, what's going on in life? Like, what do you want to do? Like, where are you going? Like, because if you don't, like, sometimes I catch myself kind of, like, stressing over things that I'm like, Gabriel, it's, don't even stress over it. Like, you're fine. Like, I live, I'm single, living in a very nice apartment in Hollywood, and I put makeup on, and my biggest stress is dating. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's people in Russia, there's people in other countries that unfortunately don't even have the option to be able to be openly gay and are still being murdered. In 2019, there's countries where women don't even have rights. Like, it's 2019 and shit is still really going down around the world. In the grand scheme of it all, like, you have to really check in with yourself and really think about, like, is this really, like... A thing because if not you're gonna be sitting on the internet crying over vitamins when things are really going on around the world but i'm not one to tell you how to feel but you know like vitamins after Gabriel's Snapchat went live, I actually do have a full video on this, but a lot of people felt like he was diminishing Tati's feelings and basically telling her there is worse things going on in the world, so why are you even sitting on the internet crying over vitamins? I think what people fail to realize in this situation is that it's her livelihood. Tati owns a company that sells vitamins. She is friends with people who... While she shouldn't expect something in return for them, it would just be nice to get a little validation from them. Like, oh my god, your product is amazing. I love your product. You know what? I'm not going to charge you to talk about this product. I'm just going to say something about it. So I don't understand the not getting how Tati could be upset that her friends aren't supporting her. Gabriel posted on his Twitter that he is going to be posting a very long video where he is going to keep it 100 again, and someone had this to say. Is it telling Tati she's not allowed to be hurt? Because weren't you wanting sympathy when the internet was about to rip you up and toss you out? Gabriel then took a moment to shade Tati once more and responded to that person by saying, all over vitamins. The only reason Gabriel is being brought up in this video is because it looks like his friend Nikita Dragon has brought him right back into the drama. The other day Nikita Dragon had a sponsored post by Sephora over on her Instagram and Gabriel commented the following, Yes, looking stunning. I need this makeup look. Wow. That is when Nikita then took the opportunity to throw a little shade Tati's direction and said the following. We love a friend that supports a sponsored post. Someone then responded to Nikita and Gabriel and said the following. Hashtag shade. Hashtag it's just vitamins. Nikita then went over to her Twitter and tweeted out the following. They do anything for clout. It looks like Nikita's followers or people that just wanted to come and have something to say to her are not going to allow this Tati shade to slide. Someone said the following including invalidate other people's feelings on Snapchat. 
because they know they're becoming stagnant again, so they have to say something controversial to spark a scandal that'll give them attention. Another person responded with the following. Isn't that what you do? Shade Tati to get the drama channel's attention? As I was looking at the responses to people calling out Nikita for shading Tati, I did see that a lot of people said that her response to Gabriel went out at the same time that Nikita was with James Charles. I did go and look at her Instagram story and it looks like they were together. Here is what they were doing. Hi everyone, welcome to Dinner with Dragon, hosted by yours truly. <laughs> Special guest judges. Special guest judges. Oh. We're cooking a fabulous meal today of garnica. Carne asada. Carne what else do we have? Uh, arroz. 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 Oh, Valentina. Aquí. Mira. Oh, arroz. Aquí. Mira. Mira as I bate, bate. Boy. Aguacate. Oh. Oh, hay una spongy. <laughs> You know, I have to give credit where credit is due. That wig that Nikita has on in that video clip is amazing. The color is amazing. The style is amazing. So huge props to her for that. But I did see a lot of people were saying that maybe James Charles had some influence on her to throw that shade back at Tati on her Instagram post. I don't know if I would believe that. I think that Nikita is just a shady person to begin with and gives zero Fs. So therefore, I think that she did it all on her own. What is your opinion, though? Do you think that Nikita threw shade at Tati with her Instagram comment back to Gabriel Zamora? Do you think it's just something harmless? Or do you think James Charles had some kind of influence on this? Please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And now, let me give you a Jeffree Star update. It looks like Jeffree Star is going to be moving forward with the lawsuit against TJ Maxx after they allowed his stolen makeup to be sold in stores. He updated everyone over on his Snapchat as he was on his way to the Dollar Tree to, I'm assuming, film some video with some makeup. But here is what he had to say. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are you? I'm feeling really good. It has been a very crazy month for me. I know you guys are like, Jeffree, you haven't been on social media that much. You haven't uploaded videos that much. Where have you been? Girl, everything life has been testing me <laughs> but you know i'm a tough motherfucking bitch girl nothing i can't handle but i can't stop smiling today because it is a new day everything is amazing and you guys i am a little nervous for today because i'm gonna be filming at the dollar tree now i don't mean to be shady if, if the dollar tree is popping bitch i can't wait to find out but after my TJ Maxx experience and that expired foundation, and after the Burlington Coat Factory illegally accepting stolen Jeffree Star Cosmetics goods and putting it in their stores for a brief moment. Hi, lawsuit, by the way. That's pending. Um, I thought to myself, what other risky situations could I, could I, could I be in? I can go play in traffic. I can... <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not funny. Now, personally, I cannot wait to hear about this whole TJ Maxx lawsuit that is going to be taking place because you know it's eventually going to be public. There are people still posting images on Twitter, on Instagram, saying that they're going into TJ Maxx and they are still finding his makeup. Now, we are about, what, like a month out from the original date that people started finding it and he started freaking out about TJ Maxx. So the fact that they have not been able to pull all of that makeup off the shelves is a little bit ridiculous. Another Jeffree Star update that I have is I told all of you before that I bought about 10 of the shades of the Jeffree Star concealer because I didn't know what my perfect match was going to be from shopping online. I'm one of those people. Unless I go into a store and actually get it, then I am going to have the most difficult time finding it ever. I can tell you guys that I did not care for it and that's not me being a hater on Jeffree Star or anything of that nature I could not find my perfect match now I don't know if it's because I've been tanning because I'm going to LA soon so therefore girl needs to get a little sun we're just coming off the winter months and I look like Casper's the only other two things that I can think to say about it are, I do think that the star on top of the packaging is unnecessary. I think that he could have saved money with that and just had the pink lid. It is gorgeous packaging, but what I will tell you about the star is it's very sharp. You can cut yourself if you are not careful with it. But also, one of mine arrived broken and snapped in half. Now, I thought that it was just like a shipping issue, but it looks like it's actually a quality control issue because a lot of people have been posting online that their star has either been broken in half. I saw Nady from Popluck 
Bucks. He was on an Instagram Live. He just picked it up and the thing snapped off itself. It's not on there very good, so I really do think that it could have just been avoided altogether. But also, I do know the concealer box says creases. Who are they? Can't relate or something of that nature. What I can tell you is on me, it did crease almost immediately. I do not have horrible lines underneath my eyes because I do get a ton of filler and Botox. So therefore, there's not really anything there. But I did notice that it was creasing. I know on Nady it creased as well. And a lot of people are having that issue. So I don't know if you have to have like a 12 year old skin, but it just wasn't for me. That's all I can tell you guys about it because I didn't actually get to use the product. I will be keeping the two color correctors because I did really enjoy those. So have you tried the Jeffree Star concealers? Have you tried the setting powder? Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And also please let me know your thoughts about everything in this video. With that said, everyone, that is it for this video. Please follow all my social media that is linked down in the description and I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.